Are you ready to add some colors into the background of our pictures? So we can see this one that is more finished has some colors in the background. We're gonna add that with some paint. We might have watercolor paints that look like this, or we might have watercolor paints that look like this. And so these paints were made out of our old dried up markers. So that's kind of recycled paint. So let's see how this is gonna work. If we're gonna use these watercolor paints, they're very dry. If I touch that, I can't paint with that. That's not gonna work, is it? So I have to add water and I have to be very, very gentle. So I'm gonna slide this a little bit. I'm gonna get a nice wet brush and I'm gonna use some green and I'm just ge very gentle. I'm just swirling it, swirling it very, very gently. I don't wanna to push too hard. Very gentle. And then I can paint on my picture and I'm gonna paint right on my designs. This is green and I have green designs so my designs aren't showing very well. So I think I'm gonna add a little yellow in here so my designs will show a little bit better. If I want to change to my yellow, what do I need to do first? Can I just reach it right in? Probably not. I need to wash my brush, don't I? So I'm going to gently swirl. And it's okay if my brush is really wet because I need water to make the yellow work, don't I? So I'm going to be gentle and I'm going to swirl the yellow. Let's put the yellow here. Remember, we are artists and so it's okay if we're choosing colors that we really don't see. But sometimes the grass does look kind of yellow, doesn't it? So did you see I had to add a little bit more water? If my paint looks really sticky, and if it's trying to cover up my designs, that means I really need more water. We want it really nice and juicy. So you can see that I am taking my time, and I'm painting really slowly and carefully. And it's okay if we don't finish in one day adding our paint. We can finish it another day too. So if I want to change my colors again, I have to wash my brush, right? I'm not going to finish this, but I want to show you our liquid watercolors. So this one doesn't need, this is already wet, isn't it? So I don't have to worry so much about adding water. I just have to worry about not spilling it. So I'm going to be very gentle with that. And so I can paint. You see how the oil pastel is kind of popping up? That might remind you of some other projects that we worked on. So it's nice and wet. And see, I don't have to add water. It already is so watery. I just can keep dipping and painting. And I'm going to finish this sun, or this, this part of the sun, and that's where I'm going to stop so that you can have a chance to paint. And when it's time to clean up, or if you get finished before it's cleanup time, we are going to pick our paintings up really carefully. We're going to carry them nice and flat like a pizza and we're going to put them on the drying rack and then we can finish it up another day.